What a year, 14 months and counting since the pandemic tested our resolve, our reserves and our resilience. Now we may face the biggest challenge of all, where to go next now that schools are reopening for in-person learning. Is it enough to return to the old normal of school? I don't think so. And nor do my co-authors, Nancy Fry, Dominique Smith, and John Hattie. For us, the answer is no. We're not gonna return to the old normal. Instead, let's take advantage of this unique moment and reap the benefits and the lessons learned to rethink schools altogether and move forward with new op optimism. We've created two new resources, Rebound and Leading the Rebound. In both of these books, we provide hope for the next normal of our schools. Rebound is much like the distance learning playbook. It's organized in modules. The modules start off with teacher agency, educator agency, and student agency. Rebuilding this belief that our efforts result in good things, recognizing that our efforts make a difference. From there, <clears throat> we move into curriculum, instruction, and assessment. Those three areas of work that we recognize are super important if we're gonna accelerate learning and recovering the learning that students still need to do. But they're not the old CIA. Instead, what do we need to focus on? What did we learn? How do we build asynchronous and synchronous learning? How do we assess in new ways? From there, we move to recovering learning through supportive school-wide structures. Things like academic recovery programs, extended learning opportunities, summer school, tutoring, all the things that need to be in place so that we can accelerate learning and recover any unfinished learning that's occurred. We end with learning leaps and how to build strong intervention efforts so that we can rethink schools and better meet the needs of all of our learners. In leading the rebound, we introduced more than 20 ideas, tools for leaders to restart teaching and learning in our new forms of school. We talk about rebuilding teacher agency, rebuilding teachers collective efficacy, foregrounding social and emotional learning for all learners, making sure teacher clarity is present in the school, instructional excellence, the use of assessments, how to design interventions. Together, these resources help all of us rebound to be stronger than we were before. We hope you'll join us in this next normal of school, better meeting the needs and ensuring that all students are learning. Yes, it's time to rebound. <laughs>